you know, folks, this week we're hearing a lot about Trump's new national security advisor and dentist realizing he just killed his patient, John Bolton. <laughs> Bolton is a well-known war hawk. He's called for war with Iran and made the case for a preemptive attack on North Korea. He can be just as aggressive in his personal behavior, evidently. In 2005, a Republican Congress refused to confirm him as U.N. ambassador because of reports he would bully government analysts and had a history of berating and undermining anyone who attempted to challenge him. And keep in mind, that was before that was considered presidential. <laughs> even worse, even worse, when a federal contractor criticized a deal Bolton was working on, she said Bolton threw a tape dispenser at her, shouted threats, chased her down a Moscow hotel hallway, pounded on her door, and generally behaved like a madman. Which is easily the second worst thing a member of this administration has done in a Russian hotel. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. So this is very unnerving. Our incoming national security advisor, John Bolton, is being portrayed in an, as an unstable warmonger. Here to refute that image is Ambassador John Bolton. Ambassador Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> Ambassador Bolton, thank you for joining us. Oh, my pleasure, Stephen. <laughs> it's very important for me that nobody thinks President Trump has handed the keys to the war machine to some sort of hair-trigger lunatic. Well, that's, that's very reassuring, sir. Because <laughs> if I heard someone say that, I'd blow him up quick. <laughs> Trump's giving me the nukes. Bloody boom! Bop, 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 bam! <laughs> Sir. Woo! Um, mm. Sir, I just want to be clear. I am not the one saying those things about you. Good, because if you did, I'd chase you through a hotel flinging mini shampoos and staplers at you. Come on! Come on, Colbert! <laughs> Come on! You're next, Saddam! <laughs> so, <laughs> sir, you're saying there's no truth to the stories of you being an unhinged bully? Stephen, those stories are only hogwash and poppycock. They're also poppywash and hogcock. <laughs> I'm as soft and tame as General Snowball. I'm, I'm sorry, who's General Snowball? That's the name of my mustache. <laughs> He's my closest advisor and a brilliant tactician. <laughs> well, sir, I, I, can, uh, I can see that he's served you well. Now, now Mr. Bolton, uh, you have called for the use of military force against North Korea and Iran, but is that really the best option? Uh, when you think about it, what about sanctions? <sighs> You know what they say, sanctions, spanctions, mandy patanctions. <laughs> I'm gonna send some big fat tanks in. Babbity boom, slabbity boom, or la 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 la. Ha! <laughs> well put. Well put, sir. <laughs> well put. <laughs> I, 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 I just I feel like I do have to ask is your mustache getting larger? <laughs> Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. General Snowball here just gets a bit engorged <laughs> when, when he smells a war coming on. You want action, don't you, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Easy, fella. <laughs> here, have some shampoo. <laughs> there you go. Time for daddy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir, okay, this is exactly, exactly what people are worried about. You seem eager for war, and now you have the president's ear. Who told you that? Lies! 
This is not his ear. <laughs> Once again, the fake news media is portraying me as some sort of deranged nutball. Makes me want to go boom, boom, skiddly, boom, come, boom, bada, boom. Please. <laughs> please, please calm down, this sir. This is me calm, Colbert. Now you've gone and upset General Snowball. Rawr, calm down. <laughs> no, boy, Stephen Fran. Stephen Small Little Feminine Man. Thank you, sir. Do we or do we not need to worry about you advocating for preemptive strikes? Steven, I'm a rational man, and reason dictates that whether it's an Ayatollah, some rogue king of Denmark, or the person taking too long in line at the airport tomorrow, you hit him first. Biggity boom, beam, bam, bam, bada, 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 bada. <laughs> Sorry. Ambassador Bolton, I just want to make sure I understand what you're saying. Are you saying, sir, that you, while you were trying to get lunch, punched a total stranger at, and I want to make this clear, you were at an airport Zbarro's waiting for your pizza? <laughs> no, Stephen, that would make me look like a crazy person. I took his ear. <laughs> Lunch time, General Snowball. Here we go. Have all right, all right. Mr. Bolton, after, after talking to you, I, I can't believe I'm saying these words. I think you might be more unstable than Donald Trump. Oh, come on, Stephen. I'm not the madman the media and my words and behavior make me out to be. <laughs> I'm a very gentle and nurturing man. And to prove it, I'm going to breastfeed a puppy. Come on. Come on, nussle up, sugar buns. Here we go. I'll feed the world. John Bolton, everybody. We'll be right back.